Hello boys and girls, my name is Liz Million and you may have seen me before on one of these tutorials. I have drawn Bad Dog, I have drawn Alfie the Alligator, Ellie the Elephant, I have done lots and lots of illustrations for Tease Valley, Music Services and today it is Snappy World Bug Day. Woo! I for one I'm very excited. I'm also very busy. This is my busiest time of year because everybody loves to celebrate drawing and writing and reading and their love of books. Now, what better way to celebrate your World Book Day than illustrating two gorgeous, maybe even three gorgeous pictures with me. So girls and boys, grab your pencils because we are going to start drawing. But we're not going to worry about going wrong. We aren't going to worry if we look silly by going wrong. And we are definitely not going to go if we go wrong. Because the chances are we're probably going to go wrong. But you know what? Going wrong is a wonderful, wonderful thing. OK, first of all, get your paper and your pencil. And we are going to draw Frankie the Princess. Hello, children. <laughs> now, I know, it's me. I've got a wig on. It looks quite good, doesn't it? I know, people say to me, you should grow your hair and dye it blonde, but it would never look this shiny and nice. Now, it is Liz Million under here, I do promise you. Now, when I had to draw Princess Frankie, now I know some of you boys will be like, why are we drawing a princess? And this is actually a king's crown or a queen's crown, but it doesn't matter. You get the idea. We're using our imaginations today. When I got the song from Tees Valley Music Services, I read it through just like I would with a book and I come up with loads of really good ideas. So in a cottage cheese castle by the North Chocolate Sea, mm, next to Lollipop Forest in the land of toffee, lives Princess Frankie and her bunny, Mr. B. Hmm. She has fiery red hair beneath her shiny crown and when she gets upset she could shout the castle down. She loves watching frogs but doesn't need any mints. They're no kissing these amphibians to turn them into a prince. So she's not your typical glittery, girly kind of princess. Now when I was illustrating her, I started first of all drawing some sort of cool sort of faces and little skinny bodies. And then I was thinking about her outfit, because obviously she is a princess, so it says that she wears frilly dresses, but underneath she wears big boots or welly boots. You can see how many times I have drawn that character. And this is what she actually turned out to look like. You can see she has got wild curly hair, which is gorgeous. It's bright red, it isn't even ginger, it's bright red. And she has got those big boots on. She has got stripy tights, which I love. And today we are gonna have a little draw of her. So get your pencils, girls and boys. Get your paper. Now you should have a couple of sheets of A3 or A4. Now this is A4 and I'm going tall and skinny because we want to do her whole face and body. So we're starting easy and we're gonna end up with quite a tricky character. So this face shape is going to be Frankie's face shape. On your piece of paper, you might want to draw it this sort of size, right at the top though. Can you see? It's like a start of a cup. So if you were drawing a cup, I went round like that. Okay, yeah, <laughs> you can see my dark hair underneath. I'll have to keep doing that. <laughs> okay, I love having hair, you know. So we have got our Frankie here. If you want to pause it and have a practice of that shape, you can do. This is the beauty of a video. Okay, so first things first, she has got a little curly cut backwards nose. Draw a little nose. And your Frankie doesn't need to look like my Frankie. I'm going to do a cheeky smile. In fact, when I'm drawing big, it always looks different to the characters that I've drawn small, but it's okay. Now, I gave her some very big expressive eyes. And she's looking down. And if I wanted to do a girl, which she is, I would put eyelashes on. So she hasn't got big eyelashes. She just has normal eyelashes. And I'm going to put 
my rosy cheeks on her like that now you can do that later on you don't need to color it in just yet okay we're gonna draw her hair so her hair comes down like that it's a weird shape but when you're drawing hair it's actually quite tricky to get it right so we do it in stages so you could put an ear here that rhymed didn't it this looks a bit like me, but we're gonna make her have wild hair. And also I wanted a crown now. I've got a gold crown on and the pictures you saw there, she has got a gold crown. And in the story, in the text, it did say she had a silver crown, but I really like the orangey gold on that. And do you know what? It doesn't matter. She might have a silver one on other days. So across her head, on a funny angle, you're gonna draw her crown. Now it's gonna be a little crown. A ziggy zaggy crown like that. You could put beautiful jewels on it, diamonds, rubies, garnets, all sorts, little pearls like this. You can put colour on later on. I'm going to open her mouth. She is smiling. Yeah, baby. <laughs> now, in the story, She's a little bit of a minx, isn't she? She's quite mischievous. So we want her to look a little bit naughty. But before I do that, have a little look. If I wanted to give her a different feeling. Na, 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 na. Look how sad she is. So all the characters I've done for Tease Valley Music Services have got different kinds of eyes and mouths. Now she was really naughty, like bad dog. She would have those big eyebrows, which she isn't. Boys, if you want to make her really naughty, put those eyelashes on. I'm going to do a naughty eyebrow and a nice one. So she's looking quite cute at the moment. Now, dress-wise, I'm just going to keep it easy because you are very little. Uh, you haven't had a lot of experience, so we're just going to take it easy. So first of all, before we do all of her hair, we're going to give her a skinny neck like a little sausage. Okay, so you're trying really, really hard. <laughs> now we're going to draw her dress. We're going to put her shoulders on and it comes down to her waist. So there's her waist. So her dress is going to come out here like that. Okay. And I'm going to do some puffed sleeves. Now, at the moment, it looks a bit weird, doesn't it? But what we're doing, we're building up our picture. So once you've got your puffed sleeves, we're going to do some little creases in the fabric. If you want to do a bow here, you can do, because I reckon her mum, the queen, probably makes a dress in very fine clothes. Okay, now we're going to draw one of her arms going in the air. Okay, make the arm as long as you like. It does not have to look realistic. We are doing cartoons. We are doing illustrators. Now, somebody's pointing. They've got a thumb that way and a finger that way. Woo! Now, she is into disco dancing. Now, this is why I have an affinity with Frankie. First of all, I love the name Frankie and I love disco dancing. I love having red hair. I used to have a lovely orangey red disco wig. And we've got three sausages. One, two, three. This is quite tricky. Have a little go. You might surprise yourself. Now, you might be frantically rubbing out. This is natural. Okay. Now, she's going to have a glove. So she's got gloves on like princesses have. And we're going to do the other arm here, but we don't need to worry about that yet because we're going to come down here and instead of doing a long dress, we're going to do a short dress so we can actually see her legs. So she's got a big floaty dress, but we want to put legs on there. Now, if you've done a big dress and haven't got room for legs, do not squeeze them on because we don't want it to look like a little sort of Ewok. So we want it to have longish legs. So we're going to draw one leg here with a foot. Now my head is really big here, but it really doesn't matter. And another foot like that. Okay. These are tricky. I'm going to do some big 
boots on her now. She might have Dr. Martin boots. She might have wellies on. If you wanted to put some roller skates on there, you can do. You can do high heel boots. You can put big chunky boots that are all in the shops at the moment. It's up to you. Now, I love doing stripy tights. Now, sometimes this might be the first time you've ever drawn a princess, especially if you are a boy, because boys in general, not as a rule, because I do know some boys like drawing uh, princesses. As a rule, boys do not like drawing princesses. <laughs> okay. Or even eyelashes. I get a lot of boys I know go, oh, do we have to put eyelashes on? So she's got stripes there. And the other arm, are you ready? We're going to go fine, fine. So she's got her hand on her hip. And then I'm going to draw a scarf. Now, yours might have gone totally wonky. It might have gone totally wrong. But this is the first time you've ever drawn this like this. So don't worry. If you drew this 20 times, you will get it right. Okay, so your brain needs time to practice. So my character, she's doing disco moves, she's got action lines. She doesn't really need to move her legs, but what we do need to do is go back up to the top and I'm gonna get my red here. With your pencil, you're gonna give a wild curly hair because she is a free spirit, she's crackers. So we're gonna go wiggly woo, wiggly woo. If you think it needs to come round here, down the back of her back, you can do. You can give her shortish hair, and then I would do lots of colour. So don't do this with your pencil. Just draw the outline, and then you can get your red. If you wanted to give her blue hair, yellow hair, whatever colour you like. And then what I'm going to do is put some little button details on there, and you can spend a long time putting whatever colour you think Frankie would like. Now remember, she goes to the pond, she mucks about with frogs. <laughs> I've got a sort of forest green here and I know there's been a wonderful competition to do some illustrations about some woods. So while I've got that green, I'm gonna put a background on. We could draw cottage cheese castle, couldn't we? What I'm going to do is just do a very quick, looks like a Christmas tree. It's a pine tree. So there she is. Now it's said in the poem that she is normally found in the basement in her disco room, but she's actually dancing around outside here. Okay, now we have done that character. It was quite tricky. And some of you are probably still frantically trying to get those hands right, okay. We're gonna come down here and we're gonna do Mr. B the bunny. Now I sort of thought of him as a best friend, but I also thought of him as a butler, maybe like a little bow tie who looks after her. So what shape I am gonna do, this is a very strange shape, okay? I'm going to draw a little tiny archway. Can you see? Goes up and round. In fact, it's a bit of a similar shape for Frankie's face, isn't it? It's like a cup shape, but upside down, okay? So I've gone along, up and over. And this is just a very quick rabbit, because we have got a really tricky character to draw after this. Don't groan! It's gonna be a brilliant one. It's one of my favorite things to draw. So we've got big ears on our little, it looks a bit like a minion, doesn't it? <laughs> now we're gonna draw a little nose and he is gonna be having the best time. So he's not telling her off. He's not telling her to behave like a princess. He loves Frankie because she is crackers, a bit like you guys. I know you lot are crackers as well. So he's got a little smiley mouth. And what sort of teeth do rabbits have? They have sort of flat teeth like mine. There we go. And they need whiskers. Whiskers. And we're going to give him some little sausagey arms like this. 
Do you think we should give him a little bow tie? Yes. So we're going to draw a little P. And a couple of loops like that. Now he's got a big 1970s bow tie on. And again, you can colour it in whatever you like. It might have carrots or <laughs> something like that. Now he's going to have little feet. I'm just going to do really simple feet. And his bum, his tail would be round the corner. If you wanted to do a little pom-pom tail, you can do. Now he is jumping. So he's going boing, reaching up, woo! Now your little rabbit can be any colour you like. I've got a lovely purple colour here. If you wanted to do a purple rabbit, a blue rabbit, a pink rabbit. Don't do a green rabbit though, because they look like they're going to be sick. We don't want any pukey rabbits. Okay, in fact, I think I know a fact about rabbits. I think it's true that rabbits can't be sick, they can't vomit. And I don't know why I know this fact. You might want to research it. I might be giving you false information. But anyway, there is our gorgeous Mr. B. And he is jumping. You want to put little paw lines there. I think he is really cute. Do you think we should give him like a little top hat? Oh, yeah. So he's very smart. Or a little bowler hat. <laughs> now he looks very gentlemanly, doesn't he? He's very posh. Mr. B, the bunny. And also do a little line there. Okay. How did you do with that first picture? Look at that. That is really, really tricky. So look, we've got this tricky crown. We've got the really hard body there. We're going to put our names on our first picture picture. Now I think you girls and boys have probably done really really well. Yours isn't going to look like mine because I am a lot older than you and I've drawn Frankie before. My picture from the beginning looks a lot different to that doesn't it because I'm using different pens and I'm using these crayons. Okay so well done guys now we're going to get harder. It's nice to get in my own hair back. I know it doesn't look as good, but hey. Anyway, the worst thing about wearing wigs is all my hair sticks up now for the rest of the day, but <laughs> we're all right. Now, I did say we we're going to be drawing something a little bit tricky, and I want you to meet my little friend. Now, this is the total opposite to the dragon we are going to be drawing today. Now, Dozy Daisy. <gasps> when I got the poem about her, I read it and thought, oh, she sounds adorable. She was blue. She liked to camouflage. She's very shy. And dozy means a little bit sort of sleepy and a bit, oh, a bit, I'm a bit dozy sometimes. I've got on in my car before and then forgotten to go somewhere. I am quite dozy. So dozy is not, it's not very very nice word to describe someone but if it's a, an alliteration like dozy daisy dragon it all adds to the rhythm of the song doesn't it so there are loads of different ways to draw a dragon i'm going to show you here before we start our picture together okay so you'll need a new piece of paper for this so while i'm drawing that get your piece of paper ready now we could draw dozy daisy in a baked bean. We could draw her in a block of cheese. We could do her in a carrot. We could also use the shape that we did for Alfie the alligator and slimy Sydney the snake. So look, this is our alligator, isn't it? But look, if we put horns on, oh, this is a good shape, isn't it? But you know what? It's also quite a tricky shape to do. Okay, so there. That looks a bit like an alligator or a dragon. Now this dragon here, we could give her cute eyes. I think we might go for this shape. Actually, it is quite a tricky shape. We've also got this shape, which looks a bit like a shark, doesn't it? Now he looks frightened there, doesn't he? But this one going to make him look frightening. Now, Horns are always tricky to get right. He looks a bit like an evil deer. <laughs> but this shape, this baked bean, is definitely one of my favourite shapes. And look, it does look a bit like a cow 
or a goat or a hippo. But if I'm doing a cute one, I am just doing this really fast. That could be a hippo or a cow. I'm going to put some ears on. So now it looks like a cow, but I'm going to put some spikes around that face. Now I love drawing dragons. I think the shape that we are going to try today, girls and boys. Now we're going to draw her flying through the clouds because she is camouflage. So I think we are going to draw her face in a funny rectangle. Now, can you see, I have gone landscape. I have drawn a rectangle there. It's gonna be a bit hard, but we're gonna have a go, okay? So this is like a long square, a long piece of toast. And if you wanted to pause this and have another go, but I've drawn it over here so I can draw the whole body there. Now, we're not gonna draw it in dungarees like it says in the song because I want you to not worry too much about putting clothes on. Now, I, I'm going to move my board and I'm going to turn my page around this way, like this, okay? So, I'm going to get the same shape as you. Now, I normally draw um, dragons on two legs as well. So I've got some lovely dragon pictures here for you. And I normally draw them on two legs looking all cute. Or all four legs flying, looking very scary. And I've got a realistic dragon here. That's cool, isn't it? That took me a while to do. And look, they can be any colour in any shape you like. So we are gonna go for it with this one. First things first, girls and boys, you're going to draw on top of your rectangle, a horn and a horn. Now this is also how I drew the Duramox for a book once, but we're gonna just make it look more dragony, okay? So Daisy has got very sleepy, cute eyes. And we are going to draw her looking in the air. So we've got two big pupils. Pupils are the black bits in your eyes. And then if I want to make her look super shiny eyed, I put a circle in there. You could do one circle or two, like an eight. Okay, then I'm gonna get my pencil and I'm gonna colour around those eights, okay? So I'll do that again. I've got a circle in a circle. So we've got a circle with a circle with a circle in a circle. That is a mouthful, isn't it? Okay, now, if you are wanting to do a nasty dragon, because do you know what? It's a workshop, you can decide. If you wanted to do a nasty dragon, rawr, it's gonna bite someone's bum. <laughs> you can put those naughty bad dog eyebrows on. But I'm going to do a dozy one. So she's a little bit sleepy. She's a little bit shy. She goes invisible because she doesn't want children chasing her. I wouldn't want kids chasing me. Now, over here, we're going to do some teardrop nostrils. Nostrils are the holes that your fingers go up when you're in search of bogeys. Yes. <laughs> we're going to put little pointy nostrils over the top there. And if she's shy, she might be like this. So she's got a little head down, she's smiling. So we are thinking about her expression, aren't we? If you've done a bad one, you could always do a carrot mouth with sharp teeth. Arr! She looks terrified there, doesn't she? Now, we're gonna give her an ear, like a leaf shape. And I'm going to put some eyelashes on, like that. And we're going to put some spikes on. Now, even though we haven't ever seen a dragon in real life, I know we get kimono dragons, and bearded dragons, like real life lizards. We are just remembering all the books and all the films, all the stories 
that we have seen with the dragons. So we know they've got horns, they've got wings, they breathe fire, they can be any colour, and they always have like a little arrow at the end of their tail, don't they? So we sort of know what one looks like. Now, very gently with your pencil, you're going to put a little skinny neck on her. Now, we could just draw her hiding behind a log, or we could do a whole body flying. They're not above cheeks, by the way, they're her legs. Or we could do her hiding behind a log. Now, that is definitely going to be the easiest and the quickest, but sometimes you get a lot of satisfaction from trying a really tricky picture. So we're gonna go for the hard one. We're gonna do a body. Now you could do a square body. The body I did, she was like a little bit rounded and she had little legs. I'm gonna just do some really easy legs, a bit like sort of pig's trotters like that. And I might just do a frog leg. Now legs are always hard to do, whether it's a person or a cheetah or a dog or a dragon. Okay, so you can pause this at any time. And the brilliant thing about a video is I can teach you from wherever I am and you can tune in from wherever you are. So you might be at home drawing away, you might be at school, you might be in your classroom, you might be next to your best friend. And the beauty of drawing is you can rub bits out if you think you've gone a little bit wrong and it doesn't matter. So we're gonna put our little tail there with our little triangle. Now it says in the poem, she's only got very small wings because she's a baby. So she's got little wings that come up and over. Now I've been an illustrator for a long time. So I know how to draw this. My brain has drawn this quite a lot, okay, especially Daisy the dragon over the lot of over the few weeks that I've been drawing her. Now I'm not going to put dungarees on her, but I am going to put those little spikes along her back. Now she is magic. She is blue. So I've got a blue here, but I'm not going to colour it all in. I'm going to show you how you can make her look scaly. So I've got a blue. I've got a dark blue as well, and I'm going to put some curly cut patterns like that. Can you see that looks like scales, doesn't it? And she might have splodges on her if you wanted to do some splodges, or you could do the dark line first and then go over it, it's up to you. Okay, now just for a bit of a change, I might give her purple wings, I might give her purpley blue eyes, and I know she was blue, you can also make up your own daisy dragon. She might be red, she might be green, she might be breathing fire. Now I am going to put my rosy cheek on just like I did with Frankie and then we are going to draw some clouds. Woo! She is super sonic flying. Now when you do clouds, do not put clouds near Daisy's bum bum because it looks like she's going, ah. <laughs> And then you can always put some magical fairy tale mountains in the background. If you wanted to do a little bit of smoky fire coming out, you can do. Okay, so I'm gonna put some, oh look, I'm using my other hand here because I'm left-handed. So I can draw with this hand as well, but not as good, obviously. Okay, oh my goodness, three very different characters in a very short time, so well done. Daisy the dozy dragon has a disguise. She's blue so no one sees her when she flies yeah. in the sky. <laughs> How did you do with those drawings? Now I did think we were gonna start easy and work our way up. If you found them all quite tricky, it's a possibility that you've never drawn that before. You can't expect your brain to get everything right straight away. Now I have been an illustrator for 24 years. I know, where has that time gone? And now you're thinking, how old is this Liz Million? I am 46 this month, so I am very old. But 
I am very experienced, which is why I made it look quite easy. Now, how did you do? Did you think it was easy, hard, or okay? But did you do better than you thought you were going to do? That is the main thing, because sometimes you think, I'm not gonna be very good at this, and you did really well now. I know, dragons are really hard to draw, but I think, Daisy the dragon, she was really cute, wasn't she, in the end? And I am really pleased with my drawings. Now, it is World Book Week, so make sure you read some of your favourite books today. Maybe try a new book that you've never read before. Share your stories, share your drawings, and hopefully you will get some lovely uh, drawing sheets to download from your teachers. Okay, so happy World Book Week, snappy World Book Week, and thanks to Tees Valley Music Services for asking me to do another draw along tutorial. Okay, girls and boys, grown ups, teachers, see you later, alligator. <laughs>